so hello i'm pratamesh yesterday we saw uh, installation of django you guys are uh, you everyone created a project in django and created an app and you also ran it and you saw uh, the admin interface so today uh, we'll be starting uh, with uh, what exactly is django and why we are using it what uh, like the intention behind it yeah so uh, we'll be seeing uh, some basic things in uh, django so first of all uh, what is uh, django so obviously we know it is in python it is python based and uh, it's a web framework so what exactly is a web framework web framework basically helps us in creating web apps okay quite easily it provides us provides us with a skeleton okay where uh, you can easily uh, develop any app i'll talk about it in a while so what is a web framework it provides a initial uh, structure for the web app development so uh, yeah if you want to create a website we all know that there is a basic uh, uh, basic things that are always there that is the login page registration uh, session handling all those things so that is already provided by the framework and uh, okay we can focus on the actual uh, business logic the logic that we need instead of focusing on the common things so web framework basically provides you with that uh, structure ready made structure and you only have to build the important features that you need for your uh, whatever business project so also it uh, helps you in develop uh, developing an app in a standard way so yesterday you saw you created uh, the project you saw that uh, ankit showed you the different structure how is the settings dot file okay separate then the app file is separate inside app you have views uh, urls uh, or maybe models dot py so the structure is in such a way so uh, basically we by default follow a very standard way of development so quite a good uh, okay uh, it is very good if we, we use a framework we automatically develop our app in a very standard way and also it's a uh, quite uh, easy to deploy when you use a web framework that's a slightly advanced topic we may not be discussing it right now so yeah it makes development quite easy and faster now you know why because the, the basic structure is already present you only have to uh, write the logic that you need so uh, let's take example of a car so if someone wants to uh, make a car so the wheels uh, the doors or okay these are okay common things the external structure uh, is a uh, common for all the cars and it's almost of same okay like quality yeah there is slight difference but it's almost the same so uh, we can uh, readily okay use this okay where uh, it is a readily available we can simply use it we won't focus on its creation uh, okay and we may focus on the actual engine that is the quite important part of a car so similar analogy we can take and understand the web app so we can focus on the business logic okay the coding part that you need the actual logic you want for your app so for example you are creating a question answer app so you don't have to focus much on uh, the registration part the session handling the sign in uh, login log out that will already be provided by the web framework you may focus on actually creating the question database uh, taking adding deleting questions that also web frame helps you uh, quite easily so quite a uh, quite lot of things uh, web framework will provide okay you and uh, uh, you only have to focus on the uh, business logic so authentication ses session handling some basic add edit common uh, okay oper operations are uh, add uh, add any content or edit or delete so if you have a user so yesterday you saw admin page you saw users so you can add and uh, delete users or edit uh, some user details these are all common operations so okay it can be automated so web frameworks provide you with okay those kind of things so it's quite helpful and we'll learn more as we develop uh django as we know it's python based web framework its advantages it is definitely fast uh, not the fastest but it is fast 
scalable you can have multiple apps you can easily scale it uh, the request handling is quite good and uh, yeah it's secure also uh, and many more which uh, we all know it is one there are many web frameworks available in python uh, but django is one of the most popular and yeah quite good opportunities are available so yeah the most important thing is it's free and open source so that is one of the biggest advantage we have yeah and uh, yeah you don't need to have uh, the sql knowledge the queries like select star from all okay or update alter all those things if you don't know that is fine because django provides his own uh, relation uh, manager operation uh, object relation manager so uh, you'll understand that so sql knowledge is not necessary when you use django uh, yeah then uh, yesterday uh, you saw django installation so it's already done uh, yeah but uh, good practice is to create a python virtual environment so yesterday you uh, ankita introduced you to an environment uh, okay so that was the environment basically the advantage of environment is i'll, I'll let you know so it isolates okay uh, uh, all your install packages from the system packages so if you have a virtual environment whatever you do installation django request any uh, module or any uh, python package you install will be isolated from the system so it you don't interfere with the system packages okay and it's a good practice to always have a virtual environment the reason is okay you don't mix up uh, all the packages so you will be working on multiple uh, projects okay so for certain project you need certain uh, python packages okay and those packages are not required for some other project so okay you always know when you deploy something or okay when you release publish your app you always give a requirement file where you say these are the prerequisite that is this package is should should be present so then you should know which packages you have used to there always good practice that you isolate your okay uh, project environment so we always create a python virtual environment it is a very good practice uh, and then you start your development another important thing is that we are not discussing uh, in this uh, workshop that is uh, the version control uh, it's uh, it's very good uh, whenever you develop something you use a version control for example git is very good so yeah uh, basically a separate uh, environment where you can install and uninstall your packages and it does not affect your system packages so you are quite safe so great advantage python and django versions uh, this is always a question uh, what uh, versions we should use we can use any version because uh, the core is almost the same in all the versions yeah but we always prefer using the latest version for various reason but i think main couple of reason that you get to use the latest version of python with the latest version of django whereas a uh, security obviously with new versions uh, the security is improved so always uh, try to use the latest version yeah <clears throat> yeah uh, django is uh, basically we are creating a web app uh, we know the client server model uh, yeah the client sends a request http hypertext uh, everyone knows it's a transfer protocol uh, how the interaction happens the protocols okay uh, basically between the client and the server and server gives a http response so this is our client server this is quite uh, the common thing uh, when there is a web app so yeah this is uh, something okay uh, about django is uh, the design pattern how django is uh, designed uh, yesterday you saw that there are various folders there is models there is views okay and uh settings everything is like a uh, proper structure so basically uh, we call it a mvt design uh, pattern so mvt is model views and templates so the idea is to separate out uh, your models models means your database structure uh, that is your models then you have views which contains the logic the business logic and then the templates which is uh, what uh, the client will see so basically it will be a uh html okay so separating these three out 
okay the advantage is tomorrow you create a project and there is some change in the template the template part you want okay some changes then anyone who knows the front end can work on it without affecting without interfering into the business logic views so if we have everything at one place uh, the database query the logic and the html then okay it will be a quite um, mess in maintenance of your project tomorrow if someone wants to edit it i have to edit everything and it can be a trouble something so it is very good if you have a separate okay uh, things like the templates are separate the views are separate and the models are separate so if you change okay certain part so if you are changing the business logic you are only working on the views okay yeah sometimes the whole three things may change that is also fine but uh, it's a separate thing okay so a very good uh, uh, design pattern is mvt so uh, that is what uh, will be seeing uh, will be doing also so i think yeah this is all about the slides all right uh, so right now i'll uh, stop my video i'll be will be doing few things mm. okay uh, let me see the chat uh, so yesterday we uh, uh, created a django app so uh, i'll be also doing that right now so if you want uh, you can follow me the way i'm doing i'll be creating a separate uh, environment so it will be completely isolated separate thing which won't affect your yesterday's uh, work so you may follow it if any problem uh, if any uh, okay issue then uh, okay uh, just okay use your yesterday's work okay but uh, if you can okay it is a good thing if you can follow it okay what i am going to do right now so everyone has uh, uh, anaconda navigator open just one note sorry uh, but please remember that you can only do one thing at a time so if you follow one uh, either you follow today's prathamesh's instructions and follow that so stick with that for the rest of the session today or if you decide to go back to uh, your yesterday setup then you'll have to again repeat some steps that prathamesh has told you because there will be some like i said there'll be incremental steps you can't keep switching between both that will not work so please stick with any any one of them we can't repeat steps again and again because it gets difficult and is time consuming so ideally uh, just follow along with what prathamesh is saying now and and follow along with their instructions the new instructions uh, yeah so i'll be uh, creating a new virtual environment uh, in the anaconda navigator uh, you guys can try it if you face any issue uh, uh before you actually do some uh, coding thing uh, you may jump to your uh, base root yesterday's thing and you can do your file editing over there that is not an issue so uh, in the anaconda navigator there is uh, in environments uh, we have a create plus so we can uh, create a new uh, environment i'll be creating a new environment called workshop so this will be completely isolated from the other environments the base environment or any any environment you have created so if i uh, yeah obviously you have to select python by default it will set the version that you have in your system and once you create it okay you can see one more environment it's getting uh, created some basic uh, packages will be uh, installed like pip, uh, the python package manager and all setup tools yeah so Uh, you may see here uh, there is a workshop this is the environment it's getting loaded so not a problem yeah so the workshop uh, my new virtual environment has been created so i'll basically click on this arrow and open the terminal so my terminal is open so yeah so what i'll do uh, i'll change uh, okay to maybe if desktop is available yeah so i'll go to desktop uh if you guys can go to desktop it is fine uh but uh, i'll create one directory and i'll do all my work in that directory so uh, mkdir is okay the command to create a directory i'll name it uh, my django 
project. Or my thing, oh yeah, I'll call it my thing project. Someone was saying something. I like missed how did you create that uh, virtual environment? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see now. Yeah, in environments, uh, there is a create button over here at the bottom. Okay, it's it's okay. Yeah. Plus sign, plus sign. Okay, plus sign. Yeah, create. Yeah, plus icon. Mm -hmm. If you click on it, uh, okay, uh, it will ask you for the name that you want for your virtual environment. I have given workshop. Okay, in create, okay. it will okay. create it. Yeah. Thank you. I'll do that. Okay. Yes. Uh, so now, uh, basically, uh, okay, in the terminal, once you create, uh, in the terminal, I'm creating one uh, directory under the desktop, my Django project. So MKDR, enter. Okay. So now I'll do CD. I'll go in that directory, uh, my Django project. And if I do DIR and see, there is nothing in it. Okay, it's completely empty. All right. And you guys can see my virtual environment is not base, it is the workshop. Now, if I do, uh, okay. Sir, open the terminal. I had opened the terminal from this uh, workshop mm -hmm. environment. Then, yeah. Then, what next to do? Uh, you may go to your desktop, CD desktop, basically. Okay. Uh, yeah, just uh, it is not a compulsory step, but uh, it's like I want to create my whole work on like desktop thing. So okay. necessary, it is, is not necessary, but if you wish, you can do this CD desktop. Okay, just a minute. Okay, uh, and in desktop, we need to create a folder. Ha, folder. So I have created my Django project. Okay. So. I'll the be command, creating everything in here. Yeah. MD, the command is MD? Uh, make DIR, MK DIR. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, sir, done. Yeah, then change the directory CD to go into that uh, directory that you have created. CD, my Django project. Okay. Done, sir. Done. And if you do DIR, you will see uh, it's empty. There will There won't be anything. Ah, oh, it's empty. There are yeah. there are no two. files. Yeah, the, those are uh, hidden things that we don't need to right now. So we can see about it. Yeah. Um, all this will work on. Uh, while well, I'll tell if it is uh, Ubuntu, I'll tell Ubuntu also takes MKDIR command. Yeah, and anyone who is uh, facing issue can skip. Uh, as Ankit said, uh, this is just okay. Uh, like you have already done this yesterday uh, but yeah i uh, i'm creating it again uh, what yeah run it uh, run anaconda as admin uh, yeah for mac it is ls uh, instead of uh, ubuntu you will use ls command to list your files in a directory okay in windows you will use dir uh, linux ls yeah, Mosum was saying something. Yeah, could you show your console like what you did after MKDIR, like making the directory? Oh, okay. Uh, MKDR, my Django project. This thing you done, you're done. Yes. Yeah, after that, go into that directory. To go into that directory, change CD is the uh, command, CD, the folder you have created, my Django project. So it's not happening here. I can copy and paste and share with. Mm, not happening in the sense uh, um, MKDIR is not working. And uh, everyone, uh, whenever you, uh, so for example, if I'm back, so if I want to go, uh, go into my directory, CD, my, I can use tab button. So if you type my and you want auto complete in your terminal, uh, then tab is the thing to use. It's a shortcut quite useful when you use a terminal or a command prompt. So yeah, CD to my folder and CLS, I'll just clean it once. And if I do DIR, it will be empty. Yeah, and LS is for 
yeah yeah you can okay uh, so yesterday's work is fine you don't need to uh, if you are not comfortable and you can use yesterday thing okay that is fine but uh, then don't follow because you have already uh, done it so do, do not repeat the commands as ankit said okay uh, this is only those who are interested in creating a separate environment and trying out things uh, and it will be a quick revision of yesterday's thing so okay uh, yeah shall we let's move ahead guys yeah yes sir yes, sir yeah thanks a lot okay so my django project i am in this uh, there is currently nothing in it uh, so uh, what we uh, will check is do we have django so we all know that we can check the module django and we'll check its version so what do you think what will be the output of this can anyone tell me no no django would not be present yeah no module name django uh, who was it yeah. yeah very good no module many okay so great yeah so basically we don't have django and in this uh, environment so i'll be installing uh, django so pip install django as ankit mentioned yesterday and those who had faced problem and did it with minus hyphen u uh, should do that i'll be doing normally as it will work in the admin user uh, so pip install django and this will install django for me it should install so the yesterday installation will not work here because this is a separate uh, environment this is a yeah correct this is a separate environment uh, yesterday was a separate environment that was a different virtual environment yeah yeah so now uh, if i check python now i should definitely get the django package the python should get the module and i'll get the version 4.1.1 so i have django installed uh sir but uh, when we are running as a administrator then uh, after uh, typing the command python and django version it's showing the version 4.1.1 in yeah because then uh, yeah you already have it maybe you are uh, you are using some root base uh, what do you say environment right means it's not showing that uh, you are working in base environment or workshop environment uh, it treats like administrator account oh may then you may have installed it already in your without creating a virtual environment in your uh, account admin account which your account you are using you have already installed it. that that okay. may be the case you may have done pip install django in that so okay. already before yeah so if it is present then it will show you this output the version name okay okay sir yeah that is fine you but uh, the good practice is you should always have a separate environment what we are doing right now uh no sir i am saying uh, i have created separate environment mm -hmm. uh but when i open the terminal it not showing uh, workshop environment or any other it treat like administrator oh uh, you have opened from the this thing uh, your same thing y yes sir that? yes sir oh that's strange that should not happen mm, okay fine maybe we we can uh, figure it out later because right now okay. let's go with the flow yeah that is not an issue right now we'll see that something minor path issue will be there not a problem okay, okay sir yeah thank you yeah okay uh, all done with this uh, shall i move ahead no sir hello no yeah yeah bolo after cd my django project what should i type uh, you can check whether django is installed in your environment like i have highlighted the command python space hyphen m django space hyphen hyphen version sir it says no module yeah name. it will say no module name django correct yes sir yeah that's it because you don't have uh, django installed in this environment so what you should do next step is uh, install it 
quick install Django. Yesterday, who did it with a hyphen u option? Do it with hyphen u. And those who have done pip install Django. Ha, pip. Pip is a Python package manager. It will uh, basically search for the Django package and it will install it. Ha, so do it with the hyphen capital U option only. Life will be easier for you and us. So it's been downloading. Yeah, it, it will. And once it's done, you can again run the same command. To run the same command, press up arrow key. Okay, you will get history of all the commands. So okay. you don't need to have retype it again. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sir, one question is there. Uh, okay. This uh, this environment that we have created, this one is virtual. The base is not virtual. Base is real. Uh, base is also uh, environment, uh, but yeah, it's a root environment. It is. It contains all your uh, what do you say packages. So it's also an environment only. It's also. Uh, but should it be qualified as a virtual environment? environment? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will, it will. It will qualify as one virtual environment. Yes, sir, it's done. Yeah. Okay. So, I guess all, all of you have, I think, completed this. Yes. So, I'll move ahead. Okay. So, now since we have Django, uh, and if we, we have just installed Django and again, there is nothing in it because it has uh, been installed in the, uh, obviously the packages. So there is nothing inside my folder. Now is the time to create a Django uh, project actually using a Django. So you guys uh, yesterday, you, uh, you all have done it. So the command was Django hyphen admin start project and the project name. Uh, right now, we'll give the same name. Library management. Okay. So Django admin, sorry, Django hyphen admin start project library management. This is the command that you guys, everyone used to create. Okay. The project. So this will basically create your uh, Django project. This is the start okay, of your web app development. Okay, so once you type this, let's press enter. Yeah. And now if you do DIR in Linux, you do ls. And you will see one directory created. That is library management. Underscore management. Okay. Uh, look at the spelling and okay the underscore write it same as it is because uh, yesterday uh, uh it showed you the github link will be following this thing only so here we have library management as the project uh, django project so let's keep the name straight same I think today you all will be quite comfortable with this because yesterday uh, you had done this with Ankit, the start project thing. Uh, sir? Mm, yeah? It says unknown command start project and, oh, sorry, sir. It's my mistake. Django admin unknown, right? No, no. Not start, start project was a problem. Please check your spelling. Yeah, guy. Uh, if you have something, you recheck it. Uh, maybe you have done some typo. Okay, that is also one thing. You should always recheck it once. So, could you check the chat once? Uh, okay. There is a, a space uh, between Django, I think, and admin, I think, hyphen over here. It is. Uh, there shouldn't be any space. Correct. Uh, try it out. So everyone uh, can see a folder created library management. That is your project folder inside my Django project. 
So your project is library management. Project name, obviously it depends on your project. You can, it's a variable. It can be any name, but uh, today we are giving it a name, library management. So yeah, Mosham, I think you, you may have done it. You may have got it. Yeah, cool. Okay. Then yeah, those who have already exist means they have already created it. Don't create it again. Uh, those who are using the yesterday's uh, environment, do not uh, recreate the project and okay the app because you have already created. All right. Yeah, someone was saying something. Uh, I said done, sir. Yeah, and Aniket Shinde, uh, I think uh, I hope you have installed uh, pip install hyphen u capital U uh, Django. That will solve your issue. I think it's it is the same yesterday's issue. Okay, okay. So now uh, uh, we all see a folder library management, and if I okay see what is inside it, uh, I do cd. I go to that directory. I'll do dir, and I see there is one more folder library management and a file manage.py. Okay, so now, so why there is two two folders created? So the parent folder library management that is present is like a uh, cap, like it's a enclosure type. It is okay, like a container of your whole uh, project. So that is why you have one uh, library management folder and then one more within it. And inside this will be all your project, whole project settings. Okay, so if you go again in this library management and now I do DIR. Okay, uh, I'll see the whole project, uh, anything that is related to the project is over here. Asgi, Vizgi, uh, uh, we don't have to worry about the, these two files. These are mainly, okay, for, for development, for, sorry, deployment version, uh, live deployment. So let's not focus on this. Yeah, the most important file is settings.py. Uh, and obviously everyone now by now, since you have followed Python basic uh, uh, to, to the videos, you all know why there is init.py so that we can import, okay, uh, any, okay, uh, class from, we can import the Python package from, okay, this folder itself. So uh, settings.py, uh, we saw it yesterday. Uh, so we'll not be looking at it again right now. So I'll go back. Uh, the, these steps you don't need to do. Uh, you are already aware of it. Yeah, so it's fine. I'll go back. To go back, I'll do cd space dot dot dot. I'll go one directory back. So now I'm back to my Django project. Uh, so I think everyone are at this point right now. And they have seen the library management uh, thing. All right. Yeah. Uh, everyone uh, will, uh, those who have uh, finished at this point can type the command cd space library management. So we'll be entering the project, the container. So cd space library underscore management. You will see that now you are inside the library underscore management folder. So, yeah. Still on backslash my Django project, I'm unable to add the library management thing into. Yeah, you have to do. Uh, you do dir. What does it show? Um, yes, sir. Is it same as what you see on my screen? Mm, yeah. Yeah, and now do uh, CD. Uh, what you should do is you type first three, two, two, three letters and then press tab, it auto completes. So you don't make a typo, everyone. Okay, so then press enter and you enter the folder, the project folder, library underscore management. Sir, the, yeah, these I two library management, uh, this has been created by default. 
Uh, hmm. because yesterday we created library manager within the uh, library manager. Uh, yeah that is the app we'll be doing that also okay uh, this is a project inside project you can have multiple apps okay that is why uh, there is this container folder okay. okay so if i do now dir i can see manage.py i see uh, this library manager this contains all the settings related to the project now if you create a create an app uh, library manager it will be present in over here, somewhere over here, and this acts as a container for every all the apps in your project, and this acts as a uh, okay all the dependencies, okay settings related to your project, like that. So this is like a container of your whole uh, Django project. Yeah. So project can have a multiple apps. Yeah, exactly. So you can create uh, multiple apps. So okay, all will be present in over here. Right now we don't have any app. We'll be creating the library manager. Yeah. So all at the same uh, stage. I hope yes. Done. done. Okay. Great. Uh, all right. So now uh, before we create an app, we'll simply uh, we see manage.py. Yesterday we saw the power of manage.py. It is the command line utility for Django to make our life simple. Yeah. Okay. So it uh, it uh, definitely is like uh, making things quite simple. So now uh, we don't have to use every time Django admin command like we did for start project. So what we did, uh, so this Django hyphen admin is also a command line utility where we okay can create things, do things quite nicely. But once you create the project, you have to forget about Django hyphen admin and you can simply work with manage.py uh, so yes yes uh i have uh, i have uh, written the command c underscore management it says the system cannot find the path specified uh no uh, you have written cd space uh, library underscore management right yes uh yeah and uh okay can you do dir you are using windows right yes sir yeah dir yes, do you sir. see uh the library underscore management folder no sir. my then django you... project is there mm -hmm. yeah go into my django project cd my django project cd space type my and press tab it will auto complete for you it will be faster cd space my django yeah tab tab karo auto complete ho jayega enter tab yes sir. enter you, yeah you got into that directory my django yes, project sir. Yeah. Yeah, now yes, do dir yes. can you see library underscore management yes sir, i can see it uh, now do cd space uh, library type li and just pay, uh, press tab it will auto complete yes sir now press enter and you have entered the thing yeah library management yes sir yeah uh, then do dir you can see manage.py hmm. yes sir there is a manage.py yeah Thank you, sir. so yeah great no worries yeah, so uh, where were we? So see, if I if I just type Python manage dot py and press enter, then it tells me that the available commands are all these lists, uh, all the list. So yesterday you all have used create super user. I, I hope you all remember, right? You created a super user. This command was used. And this is provided by the auth app of Django. It is already available. So, so nice for us. Okay. Then you also, there are so many commands. Uh, I think with time you will be using, okay, few. You also used uh, migrate, okay, for uh, applying the data, for creating uh, database tables, this command. Then uh, uh, the shell is one of the most powerful, uh, quite useful. You used uh, start app start project and uh, this is just for information uh, okay don't try anything right now and 
we have run server also so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, do python manage.py type ma and press tab it will auto complete always use the ad, take advantage of tab and uh, run server the command so ever if you forget any command you can always refer this list and oh i have made some typo oh i forgot this so this is quite helpful okay now if i press enter okay it will it will tell me that the server is uh, development server is running at this location and yesterday also was the same location all right uh, i'll just go there okay before i move to that i hope all of you have uh, reached and uh, now okay you can obviously you yesterday also you have you had done similar thing yeah yeah someone was saying something uh, i have uh, some message in red color you have uh, 80 18 unapplied migration your project may not work properly no 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 that is uh, because uh, see migration means uh, okay i'll talk about this uh, in a while point is uh, this is just that you don't have any database created so this will create problem at some point but right now we are uh, not using any database so basically you will get uh, this last two lines will be there starting uh, development server no issue no right? sir no 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 issues uh, it is a warning thing definitely okay. it will create issue later okay, okay. so we will we'll see that yeah do okay. uh, yeah okay. that is a Thank right now it is yeah Great. okay yesterday mm. this warning was in red color today there was no red color actually any reason for that <laughs> yeah okay uh, name i uh, it sure uh, yesterday the session was on sorry uh, yesterday linux. they were working on linux linux yeah linux it will show red and windows it won't show red yeah okay. uh, that is the only difference yeah so uh, okay great uh, and you can see that it is using the settings from library management which settings files okay the settings file so the server needs to know what are the settings so okay i think all of you on the same thing so now we can do local host uh not books uh, colon 8000 uh, and if you press enter you will see yeah so the same message will be available over here everyone got this thing localhost colon 8000 got it sir got it yeah the most interesting thing is uh, okay whenever after the workshop in okay your coming future if you are uh, like developing uh, doing development on django the best uh, django documentation is over here okay quite detailed uh, you can definitely always uh, revisit it and okay uh, you can find out a lot of things it's quite, many things are there okay so it's readily available for us okay so now yesterday i think you also saw admin like this slash admin we got this right yes sir yeah so now we have not uh, if it's a new virtual environment we don't have uh, the super user the admin user so we need to create one if you are using the older yesterday's thing you don't have to create again even if you create again uh, it's not a problem but the username should be different uh, all right let's come back here now uh, press control c to exit or uh, the way you used to exit uh, yesterday similarly so uh, again uh, exit from the server means shut down the server okay control c may help you or control break control fn b simultaneously okay so all at the same point so yes, I, yes. Okay. how did you go from simple django uh, page to uh, admin page uh, just slash admin Slash. I'll try. Ha. Okay. Yeah. Sir, uh, I can't get the command from. Uh, Control C. You got? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Okay, so now we need to create a 
uh, the super user and we know the command uh, and so python manage dot i again will use this command line utility provided by django and create super user now now this should be a, a problem because okay the warning was there na migration let's see what happens uh, python space manage dot py create super user i should get some error i i think yeah so if i run me what what sorry did we already create the create start app command did we do that no 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 that, that uh, i'll i think i'll do it later if you run this command python manage dot py create super user you will get this uh, error that there is no such table auth user everyone gets the same error uh, and if you are using uh, the older yesterday's thing you won't get the error hmm? yes, because sir. you have already created uh, you have done the migration yesterday i have not done the migration right yes all getting the yes. message no such table authorized user yes yes very good yeah that is the error we'll get uh, uh yeah so why we are getting this error because we have not applied the migration means we have not created the database so before uh, creating that let's understand what is actually happening over here so i'll show you uh, you guys can just uh, see this uh, so i'm doing dir okay i see uh, okay library management thing i'll go there or maybe let me see i can do this notepad dot exe library management slash settings dot py so what i'm doing is i'm opening the settings dot uh, py file okay uh, again uh, the thing is you can use uh, uh, any uh, text editor i'm using a basic notepad which will always be present in all the things and if you are using linux uh, you can use the text editor okay which will always be there um, yeah so settings dot uh, py file yesterday uh, all of you saw this right aniket shinde has been asking for the past some time that uh, he is not able to run the django admin command please run pip install hyphen capital u django and then uh, run the command again because otherwise you will it is not recognize django admin as a legal command subhada is asking what to do after running the the run server command so i guess prathamesh can you can you just recap what you did after run server yeah so after you run the server you may see the message uh, that the server is running and then you go to the browser any browser that is uh, okay any web browser you can go and just type localhost colon 8000 uh, is fine if you want slash admin now it won't show because i have shut down my server okay but once you run the server you will see admin page or even simple localhost will also work localhost colon 8000 okay, uh, whoever uh, are stuck please uh, reply on the message so we understand you uh, Have followed and have completed. Sanjeeti asks, "Can you please tell again the super user command? Super user command is Python manage dot py create super user with no okay. create super user." Subhada has done very good. Yeah. Uh, Aniket, you may have to run the Anaconda as administrator. That is one solution, or you have to install the pip install package in your environment using the hyphen u uh, tag. Uh, if you are using a new environment like today uh, you will have to run the command again uh, also try with administrator command that those are the two things that solve the problem for 99% of the people if you are using if you are not using anaconda if you are using something else then i am not aware of it so uh, it will be difficult to help you maybe we can help you in the break or something of that scenario but if you already done this yesterday then i'd recommend that you wait and not follow along these instructions today and just use the yesterday directory anybody who is falling behind please remember you can switch to yesterday's directory uh, and use that if you want to thank you yeah we'll uh, 
it shouldn't show any problem uh, 127 because aha uh -huh, it is showing problem abhishek because you have put colon over here it should be 127 dot okay yeah so that is the issue uh, i think abhishek is done um uh, local host okay and so bhagya the uh, command is wrong that is why i have written the command it will be and uh, you don't have to uh, okay you can do that but if you want you can open the settings.py in any text editor yesterday uh, you had opened in uh, spider i guess right uh, uh, ankit had shown shown that yeah all right yeah nikhil i have got notepad on my screen yeah yeah notepad no fine uh, this thing right the way i i have yes sir yeah yeah fine so basically uh, intention is to show you all the settings uh, dot py file so i have opened uh, the settings dot py let me increase the font yeah in settings dot py file you can see that uh, in your project these are all the default installed apps and django has already done this for us which app uh, admin app is there so whatever admin thing you are using you can see is because of this app auth for creating user okay uh, sessions all this okay uh, uh, basically is already provided by uh, django so these are the apps installed and if you look at the message that you get error message uh, if you go back slightly so we can see for auth user uh, there is no such table auth user okay this is because these these apps are present but we have not created the tables the database for these apps okay so we need to run one command which will okay create the tables for the given app okay and the command is python ns.py migrate so migrate will automatically uh, look into the individual apps whatever apps are installed over here okay it will go to those apps it will look for its models okay there will be one folder migration which okay will be present in each app and it will have all the instructions to create the table and once you run this migrate command it will trigger trigger that and it will create the table for you so if you run this command it will show applying applying the migration so if you see what is written over here okay it will apply migration for all the apps and these are the apps okay which are present over here in your settings okay and it is applying applying and okay uh, if you uh, see okay sometimes okay uh, with time we change the database model structure also na we we definitely have sometimes i want to increase the length and alter whatever okay so if i make changes it will be recorded okay in that particular app okay and uh, those things will be applied uh, we won't talk much about this right now uh, you will slowly once you start uh, development in django you will understand it naturally it is that simple okay so now basically uh, my tables okay are ready and i can okay proceed ahead so everyone okay uh, can simply uh, run this command python manage.py migrate that is why when we were first running the run server it gave us it gave us the warning that you have not created a table but still we ran it we used it but now we need the table we need to create super user the entry will go in the uh, table so in that uh, context we need to now create now we can't uh, ignore it all done all have executed this yes sir uh, i'll just repeat again in case anyone is still facing issues it is very difficult to be able to answer your question in chat and then for you to follow along on screen so for example aniket has been asking that he cannot see the library management folder please understand you have to create the desktop folder you have to create my django project you have to run start project command you have to run the start app command you have to run the migrate command and then you can run the run server these are the basic steps but otherwise if you can't follow along uh, i understand it can be tough at times please do not uh, get too confused 
you can fall back on the uh, the the folder that you created yesterday also please understand that any changes from uh, a certain point onwards prathamesh please tell them as to mm -hmm. uh, from what point they can start reusing the older folder yeah. the folder yesterday uh, right correct agar aap yeah. changes yahan pe karoge aur fir jaake old folder mein jaake baith jaoge to wo bhi nahi chalega please understand the uh, the intention of uh, right now this session is basically uh, you should understand what is happening okay in django okay what is this uh, the flow what exactly is like virtual environment uh, how okay django looks at the settings and takes all the app uh, what is this migration thing uh, so that is the intention so yesterday we you you have done installation you have followed all the steps the intention of this is basically to understand what uh, okay exactly you were doing and how it happens okay so that is the intention so in case uh, okay you want to use the previous thing you can switch that but i'll tell you the point at uh, what point you should switch back okay so don't worry if you are okay getting some okay issue i i i can see the chat that there is not uh, much of issues and uh, the issues are also minor okay not like a very complex thing so okay no, not an issue okay good all right let's continue yes sir yeah so i'll uh, for omkar was saying repeat it uh, i'm saying uh, you have to run the command python manage.py migrate the this command will create the tables uh, the database okay which is uh, for all the apps which are mentioned in your uh, settings.py file once you are done with this command please uh, let me know done sir done done okay okay i guess we'll we'll move ahead majority um, the same track so yeah so now we have created the table now let's press only up arrow and get a create user command create super user command so see i am not typing i am just okay uh, pressing up arrow and down arrow to just okay uh, get my history of command so this is a quite useful thing you also should do this it will be faster and now if i create a super user okay what will happen now it will work fine because now it finds the table where it can store the value so i'll uh, create username email currently i am omitting it is fine uh, password super user created all of you can can do this sir it says unknown command did you mm -hmm. need super uh, can you check uh, the spelling and all create super user hope there is no one. create super user sir it's correct sir it's correct uh, yes. uh, who uh, who has the problem Oh, can I know? Sir, it's me, Nikhil Bose. Nikhil, Nikhil. Okay. Uh, so uh, you are in this uh, Python manage dot py is working. Can you type Python space manage dot py enter? You can see yes. list of all the commands. Yes, sir. I have applied a uh, migrate to every. Okay. Ah, huh. then uh, Python space manage dot py uh, space create super user. yes i have uh, typed the command but it says unknown command did you mean create super user again question mark i don't know why what is it type manage uh, help for usage uh, it's possible that you are using the wrong spelling can you paste the uh, command in the chat yeah what paste uh, what command you have done yeah spelling typo will be there yes sir and anyone pasting the output also please tell us which command you ran because you will give us the output but we don't know what you ran before uh, that yeah nikhil so spelling is wrong yeah as i told you check the spelling create spelling is wrong so guys check the spelling and uh, more some right uh, the command is wrong you are using migrate you are using super create at one same time 
uh, you have to migration is done now it's create super user command so obviously it will create an issue so it's clearly uh, i've typed it no we have done with migration i can manage dot by create super user okay and uh, when we recommend the solution please just take a minute to go back and try it for example nikhil pratham has already asked you can you, can you please check the spelling so it is it is better if you just go back and check the spelling because then it solves the problem then and there right so thank you yeah okay so all right uh, let's move ahead uh, all of uh, you have created the super user then let's run the server again uh, up arrow will help you don't type the command if it is okay creating typos you are creating typing mistake so up arrow will somewhere find in your history uh, okay the run server command so oh, i have lost it i guess fine I, uh, for me it's okay i'll type okay uh, so run server python space manage dot py space run server will run the server and now if i move back to this point admin i will see again the username password now uh, you all should be slightly quick because this steps now i think you have repeated almost 10 times so all should be slightly faster so i'll type the username password and if i log in i'll see the django administration play page where uh, already the apps and all the details are there mm, um, yeah that you can okay uh, just check later you don't need to check what i'm doing right now but just your admin login is working this page will be quite useful for managing all your uh, database okay like tables so users is one table where you can definitely or get a lot of things yeah so i hope the password is in type in it ah, is password will be blank only it will not be visible okay uh, you have to type uh, something it will not be visible but you it is getting typed and press enter oh, okay yeah yeah after create uh, after you create super user you need to simply run the server python manage.py run server then you need to start the server to see once you start the server then only you will see okay this url okay output you can see once you request for this url okay it will give us a output because server needs to serve na so server needs to be started the server hi hum start nahi karte to hame kuch nahi dikhega it will be blank so we always need to start the server first to serve us always remember this okay so we yeah, are asking for the firewall authentication or something so, yeah you yeah so there will, uh, there will be to, uh, have you uh, your server is running have you ran this command ah uh, yeah uh it's showing that server started at this local host whatever 127001 8000 they are asking for this a proxy firewall proxy oh, no, that shouldn't it's a local host now it shouldn't ask um, oh, maybe let me try one second yeah yeah refresh it sir my email password combination is not working should i create a new super user i may have typed wrong okay yeah you can create a new super user you can give a different name password yeah and you can do that You can I create multiple. Give, I have to give different email as well. Oh, okay. You are, uh, yeah. Email ID will, yeah, slight. I think different. It should be the primary key, maybe then. So yeah, yeah. You can ignore email ID for now. You can keep it blank. Email ID actually, it's fine. Okay. Same email ID will also work, but keep it blank. Blank, not an issue. Okay. Yeah. So where is the admin page, sir? Uh, yeah, Ankit has posted the uh, local host. This is the admin page. Oh, what is that? So, localhost slash admin in your browser. You'll see the admin page. You'll have to log in with your super user that you created right now. 
Yeah, press Y, small Y. I pass the validation. Uh, Vivek, so if you can't reach the page, please try 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 slash admin. Please check your URL. Please check the spellings. Please check the dots. Uh, please try it in your browser and see if it works. Uh, either 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 or localhost colon 8000. Localhost is simpler to type. So mm -hmm. you can try localhost. Uh, if if it is not working, make sure that you typed in HTTPS and not just HTTP. Uh, I think so. Someone just mentioned that they have an issue with the local network uh, in their college. Uh, it is very probable that someone who, if there is someone around, uh, they could possibly help you uh, because it sometimes happens that the loopback addresses also get uh, blocked by firewalls but yeah. usually this should work so please try both 127 option and the local host option and see if it works yeah okay we'll wait for a couple of minutes uh yeah abhishek i'll answer your question slightly later no worries okay sir uh, both it says can't reach this page checking the proxy and the fire for two fresh Firefox yes. using both the host local as well as 127.00. Yeah, Nikhil, your server is running. Python managed or I run servers. Yes, sir. It is, it is different. Okay. So should I should I uh, use my personal network for the? Yeah, fine, fine. That is not a problem. Yeah, that should work basically. But yeah. Well, I'm using this college network, so should I use the personal? Mm, yeah, no, not a problem. You can use. So, oops. Actually, sir, yeah, like uh, the guy who is finding the issue, like me, uh, tell mm -hmm. him to run the this server wala command again because the issue was solved. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, acha. So Nikhil, uh, you can restart the server and try. If anyone who is not able to see, yes. the, yeah, maybe try restarting. It may solve. Uh, yeah, Mausam, uh, was fine. Yeah, great Mausam. Yeah, good. Nice. Okay. Is there any limit on how many super users we can create? Uh, no limit. No limit. You can create. And basically, uh, you yourself uh, will be the admin, and you will give the privileges, right? So it's on you. You can have multiple and n number. Okay, uh, I'm slight uh, currently. I log out. It's fine to log out, not a problem. Okay, can't reach. Oh, I have stopped the server. See, so I get the message. Sir, in the mm -hmm. command box, sorry, command box. Uh, should I use the control C to come out of it? Yeah, control C will help. Thank you. Yeah. So at this point, uh, you should be able to run your server. You should be able to access your admin interface. You should be able to log into it. Uh, these are the three, three things that are possible. Uh, any of these three things not happening, uh, then you can please take a minute to ask questions now because a, we, we, we stopped for that. So it's still uh, not uh, being reached. Okay. Can you please? Uh, uh, I think so. Uh, Prathamesh has stopped sharing his screen. Can you share your screen and we can try to help you out? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Just give me a second, sir. Yes. Can you show me the command line interface also? Okay. So, uh, is your server running? Yes. Uh, Not this side, so... but. No. No, 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 no. In, the, in your command line. In your command line interface, uh, the run yeah. server command should have been running, and you should have had a server server command prompt there. Please run Python space manage.py space run server. When you run this command, that means that your test server is up and running. It gives you some uh, output uh, that gives you an idea that you know uh, your server is running. You cannot, you will not be able to type anything else, right? 
so if that is happening then your server is running which is why pratham has asked you to go back and check if your server was running right type run server and press enter uh, now should i uh, python manage.py now should i write run server sir? correct your server spelling looks to be wrong can oh, you please check sorry. press up arrow press up arrow and then edit the original command go back and e mm. enter so if if something like this is showing on your screen and if there are additional rows of information running on your screen that means the the server is running right if this is not running you will not be able to access anything because there is nothing for the client to communicate with right so whenever someone is asking you or telling you to check something please take a deep breath check then come back to us let us know no problem we'll try to help you but if you uh, like if you just say yes it is so then it is difficult to troubleshoot right uh, you may not be able to log in right now have you done the create super user command if you have done that then you can log in i have done it sir cool then you can yeah. try and log in now here's Thank my uh, username as well as password successful created successful so okay so everyone uh, okay uh, are able to see the admin page you can come back to your terminal you can press control c to exit uh, your uh, running server that is the Way you can stop your server. Uh, remember, as Ankit mentioned, that whenever you want to see some output on your web browser, your server should be running, and the command is python space manage dot py run server. Then only it will serve you with a web page. Otherwise, you will see nothing. The, the error you will see. Okay, or basically nothing you will see. Uh, so remember that. And to come out, you to stop the server. Uh, okay, use control C, control break. or control function b whichever works for you okay right okay what i want uh, one more thing i want to show you is okay uh, you can just see that uh, in settings uh, dot py there is one more okay thing yeah uh, library management if i do a dir over here on a terminal you can see magically uh, there is one more file created db dot sqlite 3 previously it was not there if you if you all have uh, observed this there was no db.sqlite3 correct uh, can anyone say yes no yes sir it was not there yeah. it, yes, yes. it was not there it was it got created when you did uh, migrations okay it uh, it gets created once you okay trigger uh, anything related to migration all right uh, and it will contain all your table obviously i will not go inside this uh, okay uh, yeah uh, so from where it happens is in your settings you see uh, some db settings are there let us see yeah database settings okay here there is again a reference to okay uh, the document docs okay where i suggest uh, whenever you do some development you should always read the document before you okay do some additional okay development right now by default the database engine is sqlite okay you can use mysql we are not using it right now you can also use postgres okay so there are different backends engine uh, we are using sqlite 3 because it is quite easy to set up you don't have mysql will take lot of time but you can any time go for that also so here we have mentioned the name okay db.sqlite 3 so all okay your things will be okay in this db dot sqlite 3 okay i'm not sure whether i have sqlite 3 mm. okay i have it don't do this uh, okay for uh, all of you don't don't do this i'm just showing what is inside this okay i'll two tables see these are the tables present okay uh, inside this and there is this auth user we had got the error 
okay uh, if i do select start from you you don't have to do this i everyone knows sql so we are not uh, okay going to do this but if i okay do this uh, i can see my super user pratham i had created okay um, yeah so i'm again back to this the intention is uh, to show what is happening okay actually so yeah this is about the db now okay we are moving one step ahead okay and we are going to create our own view okay so let's let's go there so this is a library management system okay so now let me check the chat any uh blanks i will see that later okay these are normal okay text things so not a problem so okay uh so we are we'll move ahead uh, everyone on the terminal in their uh, container folder if i do dir you all see this yes sir cool okay very good okay so what now i'll do is uh okay i'll create an app now is the time i am going to create an app everyone knows what is the command for creating an app yesterday you had created who will say startup very good then uh, library manager app name okay app name uh, can be anything will give uh, library manager to be in sync okay so i am now creating okay a uh, basically a app an app so yeah if i run this if you are all you are using the older thing do not okay create again it will show an error you have already have this app so if you are using a new environment you need to create this library underscore manager app so once you run this command you can always check using ls in linux and dir in windows to see whether it has been created or not so library underscore manager app is okay been, has been created prathamesh what did you use to exit the sqlite prompt control c yeah so anyone who is still stuck in sqlite 3 prompt uh, please use control c it is not compulsory to run those commands he was just showing you that a database exists sqlite 3 is not a part of this whole course thing so please just exit yeah. out of that and follow along on the uh, on screen instructions yeah after sqlite 3 you need to run uh, you need to create the app if you are in a new virtual environment you don't have your app you need to create if you are using the older yesterday's thing do not run this command you already have it done sir a library manager folder is created nice awesome okay i'll once see the chat okay i think all have got it i assume that because simple okay so now if i uh, check uh, what is in this uh, i'm just checking it even if you 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 may not do this because yesterday anki that showed shown you this uh, i'll just show you uh or not ls dir um yeah i'm quite used to linux but fine. so yeah so we have uh, all these files auto created so see how standardized it is uh, that is what we saw in the in, means, uh, in the slides i was mentioning that everything okay is nicely okay isolated uh, okay done by auto done by uh, whom by uh, the django itself so we are forced not forced it is telling us to create your uh, database separately create your views business logic separately so it is okay uh, kind of forcing us but it is not uh, compulsion but it's a good practice so a quite standard way of uh, developing something uh, and you will slowly okay also realize it how important it is to segregate things and uh, do development okay so this is what uh, is present in it uh, inside uh, the library man, uh, manager app uh, when you create models you need to tell uh, your settings.py okay that you have an app look at that app because okay that app will also have some database some model so that is the reason why we will add our app in this installed app yesterday also you had done the thing 
so library manager it is always a good practice initially once you create uh, the app just uh, mention it in your installed apps okay and you can save it do not forget to save the file control s will save it or any save button from okay the top will also save it done okay great so yeah i hope all have uh, edited the settings dot file file just edit this app that you have just uh, created uh, if you have already done don't do it again that is also one thing yeah it's uh, why that is one i don't know maybe you have created in that name okay yeah yeah no that is fine shayad she has created i think she has mentioned that name yeah but it will yeah, okay fine okay i think all have done that and after that okay thing let's come back here okay so if you all are in this library management kindly go inside your app to go in your app folder do cd and mention what is your app name library manager and press enter you will see you are inside the library manager i think now you all are quite comfortable with this field now once all are inside uh, the library manager and can see these files once they do ls or dir let me know i'll move ahead sir i am in library manager but i can't see the files uh, what uh, command dir you have used cd library ma uh, underscore manager cd space library underscore manager ha uh, you press enter yes sir. i have entered uh, the uh, it shows in my command that library manages but it's not showing the uh, for folders that you have shown 66 views dot py yeah can you do dir yes sir enter yeah no oh, sorry what the dir dir uh, means uh, to list uh, all the directories and files in your current directory see you ah, okay sir yeah. sir uh, the files are not exactly the same for example migration is not there uh, directly uh yeah fine that is fine migrations uh, gets created automatically you don't need to worry means if you do uh, python manage.py it will get created automatically so not not a problem uh, but others are also not exactly same should i share it or is it fine uh, uh acha you heard me uh, actually uh, the migrations will be created automatically so not a problem uh, uh, not only later even uh, when you uh, run python manage.py migrate uh, related to this models it will take some time it will auto create so not an issue if migrations if you don't see it is fine a slight version issues may also be the case it has so, other differences also uh, what other differences can you paste the output in the i i i'll paste the output so just hold on along with the yeah okay no 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 you are in library management you uh, should go to the app go back cd oh, sorry, sorry. space dot dot uh, yeah go in library manager manage oh, I, i incidentally use the tab and in fact it book no no you uh, then uh, if there are multiple option press one more time tab it will show all the possible options okay okay i got it yeah yeah got it yeah uh, migration should also be there a uh, migration is also there sir yeah it will be empty basically uh, check, but don't check later uh, you may check if you are comfortable moving around you can check it should be empty because we don't have any currently database structure uh, yes sir got it now yeah thank you guys yeah.